Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the titanium UI uh, on your HD2. Uh, I know a lot of you will be thinking, you know, yeah, well, it already comes on the device and all oh, that's simple, but there will be some people out there who don't know how to access this interface. Um, here it is here, you know, you've got all your stuff on your home screen that you need, like your apps, your contacts, your favourites, calendar, email, text, time, how many voicemails you've got, phone, music, uh, pictures, and clicking all these things will take you into their apps. Um, so if you click the text app, it'll then take you into the text, click the email, it takes you into the email client calendar, favourites, etc. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is if you've got Sense um, as your default home screen then uh, you're going to have to disable that. I'm just going to load up Sense here so that I can show you what to do. Right, so go all the way across to settings, click menu in the bottom right and tap all settings. You'll then come to the advanced settings screen. In the top right you see it says today. Click on today, go to items and check windows default. Press OK, tap the X again and there you go you get the titanium today screen. The good thing about this today's screen is um, it loads up faster than sense um, it's a bit less flashy you know if you if you don't really want all the apps and stuff on your home screen then this is a good alternative however um, if you do like the sort of customization that you get with sense um, there is an app in the marketplace that does allow you to customize the titanium interface and on the XDA forums there are uh, quite a few mods that allow you to mod it as well and add some extra features. Um, the app to change the sort of layout and you know what goes on on the titanium today screen is called home screen customizer. You can download that in the Windows marketplace for free and it's easy to install if you in case you haven't installed something before that's how you know you just click install installs onto your storage card or your device whichever one you've set um that's about it uh you open up the app and first thing you see here is a list of all the stuff on your home screen if you click the x that'll remove it if there's extra options you can click on something and click edit like for the apps, uh, you can choose what apps to show on the app tab. Um, you can also click the heart which favourites it. That means that um, it will be the default selection when you first turn on the device. Um, and you can also add panels. Uh, but I've added most of the panels, so the only thing left is getting started, but I don't really need that because I know how to use it. Um, click OK. No, I don't want to save the changes. And uh, that's about it, really. Um, you can go to the pictures. That's one thing I can think of. And swipe across to look at your other pictures. Same with music, if you're playing some music, if you swipe across or tap it, it pauses. And um, same with the apps, you can have a little row of apps here. And same with contacts. And yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, then comment, uh, like it, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more of stuff like this, you know, little tips, tricks, uh, mods and stuff for Windows Mobile. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video.